All right, let's dive into the mystical world of tarot and explore what the cards have in store for our Capricorn friends in mid-May 2024. Have you got your curiosity sparked? And are you ready to uncover the cosmic messages that await you? If so, you're in for a treat. Right now, in this collective tarot reading, we will unravel the insights and predictions specifically tailored for the Capricorn Zodiac. Get ready to embark on a journey of discovery and enlightenment. Hello, Capricorn. All right. I love it. This is beautiful already for Capricorn. Mm hmm mm hmm so, as I look into the card so far, there are some key challenges that Capricorn may face during this time, whether it's work-related stress weighing you down, or if it's, it's a lot of cards here. Hmm. Okay. We're going to go with it. All right. So, you know, it could be work-related stress weighing you down or relationship issues that are causing turmoil. The universe does have a message for you. Capricorn. I'm going to take one more. That's what I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. So, it, immediately what I'm seeing as a challenge for you um, Capricorn is not allowing those things that no longer serve you to fall away. It feels like Capricorn, you're resisting change and resisting the opportunity that could bring something ex exciting and new into your future. Okay. That's, that's what I'm seeing as your resistance, as your challenge right now. That's what I'm getting so far in your reading okay um that with this challenge yeah you're you're holding on to things that no longer serve you i'm seeing that with this ten of wands energy coming up for you as a as a sign of your resistance you're holding on to people places or things that no longer serving you you're resisting the opportunity the opportunity to lay down your burden, Capricorn. That's what I'm feeling with this. And by resisting that opportunity to lay your burden down, you are... Mm -hmm. You are blocking yourself from position of leadership. You are blocking yourself from positioning, being positioned as a leader um, gaining more wealth. You're blocking yourself from feeling more secure. This is what I'm feeling for you right now. Capricorn with you continuing to carry the burden and not releasing those people, places, or things that no longer serve you. Mm hmm Right. Okay. Mm hmm So because, and here we have... So you have the death card coming in your area of challenge and resistance. And what it feels like is you're resisting the opportunity of change. Like you don't, what I'm feeling for some of you, it, this will resonate. And so it, it may not for others. So let that what does not resonate fall away and, and leave it for someone else. But what I'm feeling for someone, Capricorn, is you are, uh, you are resisting change. You are adverse to change you like things to stay exactly the same and yet with that adversion to change you are blocking yourself from coming into your king of pentacles moment you are blocking yourself from an opportunity of leadership in some area of your life you're blocking yourself from the opportunity to feel more secure in your life and this does feel like this does feel like this is a career block. This is a career block. You have the Hierophant clarifying 
this uh, King of Pentacles energy. And so what I'm feeling with this for you, Capricorn, um, you are stuck in tradition. You are stuck in tradition of doing things the same, not deviating from how you how you work is what I'm feeling and not allowing yourself to lay down the burden. It feels like this job has become this career has become a burden to you or at least some aspects of the job. So not for everyone. It could not be the entire job. It could be certain aspects of the job are becoming a burden for you. And because it's the old way you're doing things, Capricorn, right? It's the old way of doing things. There are new, more up-to-date things that can be done to make your career more efficient and and your you're stuck in your old ways and not allowing yourself to have the opportunity to learn and um, execute the new way of doing things. That's what I'm feeling as a part of your overall blockage, Capricorn. Okay, so, right, with the Hierophant, we have Taurus. In your reading, we have some Aquarius in your reading. So this could be anywhere in your birth chart. Um, this could be for a cross watcher. So Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Take it how it resonates. Let the rest of it fall away for someone else to gather. Okay. So your, your energy, what I'm feeling for you currently, for mid-May Capricorn, your energy is the Sun. Your energy is the sun. This is you, mid-May Capricorn. So this is you just having the playfulness of it. Um, being able to celebrate. You want to continue to celebrate your achievements on the job is what I'm feeling. Uh, and then we have the Knight of Cups, the Devil, the King of Wands, and the Tower. But you are feeling something. You're feeling like you're getting left behind. I feel for some of you that is the current energy. You want to present yourself as easygoing and, and playful. and But I'm also feeling that you need to celebrate your wins more often. There are people that are around you that I feel will give you the accolades. But you have... A difficult time celebrating your wins okay we have the knight of cups being clarified by the king of wands in your current energies capricorn so what i feel with this you want more value in your job you want more value in your job and yet it's going to take you getting the vision Getting the vision to be able to lay down the old way of doing things on the job. You have to see that these new tools, these new processes are efficient and they are they will bring better results. So as you want to continue to have pleasure in your job, because I feel like that is waning. What I feel for some of you, Capricorn, the pleasure in your job is waning and waxing. It's not stable. Some days you enjoy it, other days you don't. I feel like you have more days that you don't than days that you do enjoy your job. So you have to come into that King of Wands energy, Capricorn, to see the vision that these new tools absolutely can work in your benefit. It can work in your benefit. And then we have in your current energies, the devil being clarified by the tower. So you have some absolute, um, you have, you're showing up in your own reading. So this is very powerful for you, Capricorn, with the devil card. You're showing up in your own reading. What I'm feeling with this. Devil card being clarified by the Tower of Capricorn. That is that is the ignorance that you're carrying about the new processes and procedures and tools 
the up-to-date things surrounding the function and performance in your job. You're being ignorant to the fact I'm not coming down on you. I'm not judging you. I'm just sharing how I feel what I'm getting, what I'm getting from these cards. Yet that is going to the ignorance and the resistance that you carry toward the new things going on in your job, in your work, come into agreement that these things can work for you. It feels like you've been on this job for quite some time, so you are stuck in your ways and you are adverse to change is what I'm feeling for some of you Capricorn. Yet you have to understand getting that revelation with the uh, tower card, clarifying the devil card. Again, you've shown up in your own reading Capricorn, Capricorn with this devil card. So get the revelation with the tower card that you have to change your mindset and release the disbelief, release the ignorance um, because you are super intelligent. Capricorn, you are super intelligent. So get the revelation and release that that ignorance, release that resistance on these new processes for your job, for the way you do your work and how it can improve your, your uh, productivity and your output, right? And here we've reached the climax. This is the key moment that has profound impact on Capricorn's lives. Mid May 2024, the significant, this significant, I should say, this significant card, the strength card. Um, it's a prediction, and it, it will set you to steer your path and guide you towards your destiny with the strength card. So you have some Leo showing up in your reading, Capricorn. You have to trust the process, is what I'm feeling. Trust the new things that have been implemented on the job to take you further. That is what I'm feeling. You need more trust in the new things because you like the old things and the old things have worked. Yes, they have worked, but there are new tools and resources and processes and procedures for you, Capricorn. Excuse me. That will help you excel and propel forward in the way you produce at work and the outcomes you have because we have the King of Cups showing up and that's being clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, okay, Capricorn. So with this King of Cup, King of Cups, excuse me, you when you understand and grasp the new processes and procedures, your output at work is going to increase like tenfold. You will gain control of understanding the why and the what of these new processes, okay. And then with that, you have new prosperity on the job. You have more opportunity for um, bonuses at the job, bonuses for your performance because you've embraced the new processes and procedures. That opportunity is there for you. And then we have the Six of Cups being clarified by the Ten of Swords. So with this, what I'm feeling for you, as you discover how poignant and how, um, what is the word? I can't find the word. When you discover how good these new processes and pro processes and procedures work for you, Capricorn, when you discover that for yourself, because you actually go ahead, dive in, accept the change, accept the change, Capricorn, right? You will you will be reconciled. That's the way I say it. You, your mind will be changed. Your mind will be changed. You will be done with the old way of thinking. That will be over. And there comes that victory for you. There comes, there comes the bonuses. The bonuses are coming when you get in, dig into these new processes and procedures and your performance output is just 10x and you get bonuses for the work that you produce so just come into agreement. Let the old ways of doing this job, those old procedures, let those fall away. It's time for a change, Capricorn. And I'm really feeling that for some of you, this is greatly resonating in your area of work, career, your job, perhaps even your business that you've been at 
for, you know, a decade or more. You've been doing it for so long for the same, um, doing it the same way. But there are new ways to do it that bring you more, um, more revenue, more bonuses if you're working for someone else, bringing in more profit if you're working for yourself or you're partnered in a business. That's what I'm feeling with this reading for you, Capricorn. Um, I want to get some a final piece of advice. So, you know, in conclusion, let's summarize the main takeaways from this reading. Change your mind toward the way you do this work, the way you do what it is that earns you money. You have to come into agreement and stop resisting change. Okay, put the burden down of the old way of doing things. When you come into a, an agreement that these new ways are working and they work really well, it will bring you to a place of getting bonuses, more profit, more revenue, right? You will come into a better position of leadership as an area expert in your field. Um, you will discover how, how amazing this process works, how it really has upped the game in your industry. So you have to trust that you're ready for a change. Trust that your soul knows it's time to do things different on the job, right? So let's get a final piece of advice. Uh, so I just Capricorn, I want you to remember to pay attention to the key messages and advice that the cards have imparted. You know, these insights are meant to guide you through the upcoming period with clarity and wisdom. They are for your benefit and your highest good. Achievement, effort plus intention. How, how timely is spirit? How timely is spirit, right? This is the advice. This is the advice from spirit. Achievement, effort plus intention. Make the effort to come into agreement with the changes in your industry, the changes implemented on your job. So when you make that effort and you put the intention behind it that you are going to give this an honest go, you will achieve the success. You will achieve the success that you are looking for on the job. Absolutely, Capricorn. Okay, so... Spirit is timely and just advising you, believe in it, put in the effort, put your intention behind it, and you will achieve exactly what you desire. Better output, better performance, more money, more profit, revenue, bonuses, right? This is, this is what spirit is guiding you to do. This will bring you into a place of achievement, okay? You will, you will find that you will get your stability. You will get, you know, gain ground with these new processes um, in your work. You will grasp this information quickly is also what I'm feeling. You will be trained, you will retain, and you will execute. Okay, Capricorn, that is what I'm feeling for you. I hope this resonates with you, okay? So before we wrap up, I'd like to encourage you to show some love by liking this video and subscribing to the channel for more Zodiac readings. Don't forget to share your thoughts or personal experiences in the comments below. Your engagement keeps the mystical energies flowing. Thank you for joining me on this cosmic journey, Capricorn. May the tarot cards illuminate your path and bring you the guidance you seek. So stay tuned for more Zodiac predictions and mystical insights. Until next time, take care and embrace the magic of the universe.